Today is Saturday, April 27, 2018. This red year slider, female 21 years old, came in for a second opinion. The vet, the first vet had already given treatment and taken x ray. X ray showed nothing abnormal in the lungs. And uh, the red year slider still doesn't eat, although the owner was given injections, furosemide, calcium gluconate to inject in the backside for the last two days. Now, I had taken out some fluid from the neck area, so it's not so swollen. It's not so swollen now, and I, I'm putting this radius letter in the water to see whether she can swim straight level or not, without being lopsided. And uh, as you can see, she does swim now. There is some blood clot there. This from the mouth. She had mouth ulcers, and the mouth was bleeding when I examined the mouth. Other than that, the main complaint is it's not not been eating for one month and lethargy and eating very little for two months. This being a 21 year old great year slider. Now. There's another video before this, when it came in. And uh, I suspect this, this red year slider had been infected by contaminated water, which has been kept for three days with uh, pellet, chicken meat, and shrimps, or prawn meat for the last few months. And being old, the immune system is poor, so she can't, can't uh, Take it. So there was some infection, and whether she has heart, liver, or kidney disease, that's a separate matter because you can see that the, the front part of the, the the skin behind the neck was much swollen early on. Uh, I did aspirate some colorless fluid from the left side, and on the right side there was some blood tinge fluid lots of tissues so since the owner had x-ray at the other vet so I won't be taking the x-ray but other than that I noticed this therapine is a bit more active now after aspirating the fluid from the neck area now she's, she does swim although she was never had a chance to swim at home because the water level was low so she doesn't swim very well but I can see that she, she does swim but uh, does it swim level? it's hard to say we'll put some food and see I doubt she will eat now uh, open this one is it eating or not? Eh? this is the second one has it been eating? Tried, he has a, a, a bit of appetite now, but how many days here? Nearly two weeks here. The came in with swollen eyes. How old is this? This will be younger. And definitely the shell is much better quality. Better quality. And you can see that uh, you can swim level. You see, you can swim level. And quite active as well. We are giving them the sun. Sunlight, this one didn't have sunlight for a long time. You can see that this one doesn't swim much actually. Look at the lethargy. So these are the two inpatients. Now you can see the swelling of the limbs. And uh, the best is to compare with a normal, normal one. Normal one, the back legs are not swollen. You can see the normal one. There you are. They are flat. The back legs are flat. They are not swollen like this. Compare these two. And then you see the neck, behind the neck. The skin. There is a swelling there. And the head is protruded. This is not normal. This part is not normal. This is a loose skin filled with fluid 
Now the normal one, you can't see, you can't even see the skin of the neck because there is no fluid. Eh? So this is a good comparison between a normal red ear slider and also you can see the shell color, this is reddish. Looks like there's much inflammation and bleeding and uh, you can see the side as well. The side is also reddish compared to compared to this uh, the other one eh? not the other one you can see the other one the sides are okay you see no bleeding here also no bleeding below below is normal no bleeding now I show the below here the lower part here the lower part is not so bad there's no bleeding as well huh? but look at the side it's bad so we are putting him under the sun this one I'll put him back again you can see this is a normal neck there's no swelling there so you compare to this this one you can see there's a lot of swelling around the neck area so there's a lot of difference eh? and eyes are swollen and shut eh? I'll put this back again and we'll let have some sunlight but definitely this one is very lethargic you can't even swim much compared to this this will swim it will swim as much as it's quite active appetite just returned eh? after more than two weeks this is day one so we will wait seven days and see we need strange feeding and and uh, antibiotics and fluid and some uh, vitamins as well I shall stop now today is April 27, 2008 one old three years later, 21 years old female with, with a poor water quality and uh, no sun, sunshine, sunlight and no changing of water every day and the uh, water is filled with pellets, meat like chicken and bronze so there will be bacteria inside the water so since they don't have filter you should change water every day if you keep, keep it in the tank I will stop now for Biovets Singapore this one is ears swollen the eyes swollen but has recovered this is uh, the taji and swelling of the legs the forward legs and the neck